Here's your hundred. Another seventy-five. They're called four little ladies. Not so fast, stranger. Jumping catfish, four aces. Hold it. What's eating you, anyhow? Plenty, you tin horned crook. You dealt yourself one too many aces. You're a loco. Yeah. And how come he's got four aces when I discarded one on the draw? Well, I'm afraid there must be some mistake. I. Call the sheriff. Here he comes now. He called me a cheat and pulled a gun. That's right. He was asking for it. Take him out. Ace, someday that holdout gun will backfire on you. Oh, come on, I'm a friend of yours. I ain't telling a thing. Say, Ben, if you tell me, I won't know a soul. Might as well save your breath. What's up, Ben? Come on. I'm celebrating. Come on in. Line up, boys. I've located the lost El Dorado. Isn't that supposed to be the richest mine around here? It sure is, Goldilocks. Set him up again. You're cute. You think so? Here's some specimens of the ore. Oh. oh, Ben, this looks like you've struck it rich. Yes, but don't ask me where, because I'm keeping it a secret. I don't blame you. That's just what I'd do if I were you. Have a drink on the house. Sure, why not? Better go easy with that rattlesnake juice, Ben. Oh, that stuff will never hurt me. My energy are stronger and brace. Maybe so. Half a dozen more drinks and you'll be telling everybody where you made the strike. You're right, John. Guess I'll pick up my supplies and head back. I'll have to keep an eye on him and then check up with the recorders to see whether he's filed a new claim. Started back for the hills. Is so? There's no record of him having filed any new claim, boss. Well, he must have struck pay dirt on his present holdings. Hey, what did it run to? Roughly about 1,600 to the ton. That's a regular bonanza. Any idea where he's holding up now? No, not exactly. He's got a cabin somewhere in the Red Buttes north of the ridge. Why? Pick up some of the boys and make him talk. Understand? Here he comes. Now remember, we gotta take him alive. If he puts up a fight, just wing him. Come on. 
on, Maggie. Not, but we started something we gotta finish. If we kill him, we won't find out where he staked the claim. Yeah. You two circle around at the back. Cliff, you and Fred go the other way. Bill. He's through. Now what about the mine? Well, search the house. Maybe you'll find something. You'll tell where it is. Get 
Doggone you bugs, undoing all I'm doing. There, that'll teach you to stay off of my plants. Yeah. You know you ought to shoot those things. They're dangerous. They sure are, Hobby. That's just what... There you go, making fun of me again, huh? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, California. It's just that I can't get used to the idea you ride and hurt on a potato bug. What are you experimenting with now? Well, Hoppy, I'm going to cross summer squash with winter turnips. Know what I'll get? I do. Six months in the booby hatch. <laughs> now, just for that, I ain't going to let you try any of my new spinach. Oh, you can't take our spinach away from us. Well, he's always a button now, wait in every... Wait a minute, I got something to ask you. Didn't you tell us something about a 42nd cousin, a uh, uh, man by the name of Pendleton? Pendleton? Yeah, yeah. The one over a rim rock you were telling us about, remember? Oh, sure, sure. My cousin Ben. Oh, cousin Ben. Well, listen to this. This is a rim rock paper. Pendleton murder mystery still unsolved. No trace has yet been found of the murders of Ben Pendleton. Elderly prospector who was found shot to death in his cabin last week. Well, doggone. Poor Ben. He was the last of McKinnis folks. Oh. Well, then, everything he owns will go to you, including that gold mine. Yeah, I get... Gold mine? Yeah. yeah. It says right here, it says, uh... Sheriff John Blake, who discovered the murder, still adheres to the belief that Pendleton was killed because he refused to reveal the whereabouts of the fabulous El Dorado mine, which, uh, which he had rediscovered. Just where the mine is located remains a mystery, as nothing was found in Pendleton's effects to prove where it was. Wow! Now I can buy all them fancy high-priced seeds I've been a hankering for. Yeah. yeah. And what are you going to use for money? Gold in the mine that's been found and lost again? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, I got it. We'll all head for Rimrock and search for the mine. Say, that's what I've been thinking. What do you say, Hoppy? Do we go? Look for a gold mine. No, you can count me out. Sounds too much like a treasure hunt. See you later. Well, let's see here, Lucky. You've got to help me make him change his mind. I don't want to go without you fellas. Well, that wouldn't be... Say, think of what we can do with all that gold. What do you mean, we? It's your mind, isn't it? Sure, but what's mine? It's ours. But we got to get Hoppy go along. Oh, you mean you'll split it three ways? You betcha I would. Hoppy! Say, California said he'd cut us in for a third if we went along with him. What do you say? It's still no, Lucky. I've had my fill of those wild goose chases. Yeah, but this is different. We can't let him go alone. And well, besides, you know, his cousin was murdered by somebody that wanted that mine. Sure, but... there's been one murder committed. Uh-oh. Murder. Now, see here, Hoppy. You've got to go along with me. Something awful is liable to happen if you don't. You wouldn't want to see me killed, would you? <laughs> Of course you wouldn't. You wouldn't, would you? Ha, 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 Ah, you old glute. You didn't really think I was going to let you down, did you? You was fooling me? Sure. What do you think I'm getting saddled up for? Doggone you, Hoppy. <laughs> really going? Come on, let's Come go. On. Come on, get your <laughs> When I received the news of his death, it was quite a shock to me. I can understand how you feel. Ben was an old friend of mine. It is too bad, though, that he left no word about the mine. Otherwise, you would have inherited a tidy fortune. Yes, I suppose so. How far are we from Rimrock? We'll be there in about an hour. I hope Sheriff Blake will be on hand to meet me. I'm sure he will. comes the sheriff now. And remember, if there's anything I can do for you, don't hesitate to call on me. Thank you. Miss Pendleton? Yes, you're Sheriff Blake, aren't you? That's right. Would you like to come into my office and see if we can get things straightened out? Yes, I would. I'll bring Miss Pendleton's bags into my office. Does she know where the mine's located? No, she's as much in the dark as we are. But I've convinced her that Ben was an old friend of mine, and if she does find any clue to the mine, I'm sure to hear about it. <laughs> You're too smooth for this business, boss. You ought to be a politician. <laughs> Come on, let's get a drink. And you are his only living relative? I think so. At least I've never heard of any others. How did you know where to find me? I went through his papers to find out if he had any kinfolks and came across some letters you'd written him. I suppose you're anxious to see your future home, Miss Trudy. Yes, I am. And I'll drive you out there now. But I'm warning you, 
Don't expect too much. I understand, sir. <laughs> Must be it. Yeah. I always told you I had rich relatives. <laughs> Quite a hacienda. Has he straightened it up a little bit, you could call it a hacienda. Hacienda or hacienda? Boy, it sure make a swell place for me. You talking a loving me starving. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there's any grub inside. Uh, let's see. You with your love and you with your food. What I'm prepared. Looks like a cyclone hit the place. Sure don't look like the home of a man who struck it rich. Does to me. Filthy rich. gentlemen. Well, you did kind of at uh, first. We're not frightened now. I'm Trudy Pendleton. Were you looking for me? Trudy Pendleton? You mean you're Ben's wife? No, I'm his niece. Oh. Well, Doug McCatra never knew he had a niece. Well, then you two are kinfolks. Kinfolk? Are you related to Uncle Ben? Am I related? <laughs> I'm his 42nd cousin. Uh, or something. Well, are you relatives, too? Oh, no, uh, no. We just came with California. I'm Lucky Jenkins. How do you do? And this is Hopalong Cassidy. That's How do you do, miss? Yeah, and folks call me California, but you call me Cousin Jack. Hello, California. I uh, suppose you also came here looking for the lost mine. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the general idea. Uh, you know where it is? No, I'm afraid not, neither does anyone else. Why, most everybody in Rimrock flocked out here before I arrived and turned the place upside down. But they didn't find anything. Oh, that's why the place is so mussed up. Yes. <laughs> well, let's help her clean it up, huh? For sure. Yeah, let's. I'll fix the stove. So you can eat. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go out and see if I can find some tools. Here, you want me to help you? No, thanks, Hoppy. I got her all fixed. All right. Zinnia, Zinnia, 
Sal pig your load? No, Sal? you wouldn't like that. No? No. You can't eat that. We don't want it. <laughs> Where do you find those seeds? In the woodshed. In the woodshed? Yep. You know, Hoppy, Cousin Ben must have been quite a gardener, too. Yeah, he must have been. Well, I think I'll start me a little patch here. I thought you'd come out here looking for a gold mine. Well, well, sure, but uh, meanwhile, we got to have some fresh, uh, fresh vegetables, ain't we? Yeah, fresh vegetables. Sure, because you wouldn't want to catch the scurvy. No. The last time I had the scurvy... Yeah, hopping... I know. The last time you had the scurvy, you died. Yep, I yep. died. Mm. <laughs> Isn't that what you think? Yeah. Nice moon out tonight. So we noticed. Oh. Well, I think it's time I was getting some sleep. Good night. Good night. Uh, good night. Good night. Would you mind pulling my boot off? She sure is a nice girl. You certainly fall in love in a hurry. Huh? He sure does. Quicker than I can change my shirt. <laughs> you mean oftener than you change your shirt. <laughs> Will you pull the boot off? Yes? I thought maybe you'd feel safer if you had this. Very thoughtful of you, Lucky. Gosh, but you look pretty in the dark. Is that what you think of me? No, it wasn't that. It was, uh, well, uh, Yes, go on. Well, it was the candlelight shining through your hair and kind of lighting your face. And... No, I'll tell you. Tell you tomorrow. Aren't you going to leave the rifle? Rifle? Oh, yes. You uh, just put the shell in. It's already loaded. You. There. Good night. Good night. Oh, California, you look so pretty in the dark. Is that what you think of me, Hoppy? Well, uh, 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 you're beautiful with the firelight in your hair. Or shining through your whiskers. Ah, uh, Hoppy. Or, well, maybe I'd better tell you about it in the morning, huh? Oh, shucks. Tell me now. Why <laughs> face <laughs> car out of you guys? Look out there. Hey, hey, maybe you'll need that tomorrow. Oh, jeez. <laughs> ah, go on back. <laughs> you darn fool. <laughs> Time of night? It says here you gotta plant them in the dark. You gotta, huh? Yeah. All right, you're in the dark. Uh, now, now listen, Hoppy. Come on now. Now, please, give me the light. Hoppy, I can't, I can't see a thing out here now. Hoppy. 
I'm so hungry I could eat a steak a yard wide. Why don't you give your stomach a rest? Why should I? It don't give me none. Looks like we get company. Yeah. Wonder who he is. I hope it ain't another cousin. May I come in? Well, hello, Mr. Gibson. <laughs> what brings you up this way? Oh, I just thought I'd drop up to see how you were doing. Well, I'm glad. Say, um, now tell me, who are those men outside? Why, the whiskered one is a relative of mine, and the other two are his friends. Oh, Hoppy, I'd like to have you meet Mr. Gibson. This is Mr. Cassidy. How are you? Howdy. Excuse me. Oh, Hoppy, will you see what's the matter with the stove? It simply won't stop smoking. Ah, I'll fix it. Thanks. I better be going. Goodbye, and thanks for dropping in to see me. Thank you. Lucky, California, come here. catalog. Now we'll be able to find Uncle Ben's mine. The body? You found it? Look at that. Who's the eagle? Maybe he's an Indian friend of Uncle Ben's. By golly, truly, I'll bet you're right. I'll get this. Wait a minute. Better not get so excited that we find out who this eagle is and uh, where we can find him. Why do you suppose the eagle will only show us the way to the mine at sundown? Maybe it's an old Indian custom down here. Well, let's get to town and try and locate him. Perhaps the sheriff can tell us who he is. That's an idea. What are we waiting for? Come on. Here, Hoppy, you better take care of this. All right. I'll only be a few minutes. Oh, I forgot. What? I haven't a horse. Well, that's all right. You can ride double with me. All right. We know something. If anyone knows who this eagle is, it'll be Flying Cloud. Oh, here he is now. How? How? White man, California, have him powwow, Flying Cloud. That, that's you. Sign language. Uh, <clears throat> you know him, uh, heap big chief, Injun eagle? I'll get him. Look, look, eagle. <sighs> hmm. I'm awfully sorry, sir. I do not know him. 
Oh, hello, Sheriff. You sent for me? Yes. I'm trying to locate an Indian named Eagle. Thought you might know who and where he is. No, I'm quite sure there isn't anyone in my tribe that bears that name, sir. Well, thanks, anyway. But if you run across a strange Indian by that name, let me know, will you? I shall, sir. Goodbye, Sheriff. Goodbye. How? How? We'll find the eagle if we have to ask everybody in the county. If you do, you'll be looking for trouble. It's my advice you all keep quiet about Ben's message, or else... Well, you know what happened to him. He's right. Well, we'd better get going. Well, thanks for the trouble you've taken, Sheriff. That's quite all right. I'll let you know right away if Flying Cloud finds out anything. Thank you. Now... What's the matter? Hopper's gone. See anybody leave from here with a white horse? No, I didn't. You didn't, huh? Yes, I did too. I saw some stranger take one around the corner a while ago. In fact, he took him into the stable. Took him in the stable? Thanks. I'll be right back. That's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go along. Oh, wait a minute. Well, hello. I didn't expect to find you in town. I thought I left you fixing lunch. Well, you did, but, uh, Hoppy, uh, I found it necessary to have a talk with the sheriff. Drop your guns. Hopper to beat a trap so they can get Ben's message. Oh, Hoppy, that ain't possible. The well, pocket's gone. Maybe he drops it inside. Let's look. California was right. There, now, didn't I tell you? Yeah. Hopper, are you all right? First thing I know, they had me rope and gag and threw me down here on the ground. You know who they are? I've seen them around, but I don't know what their names are. Come on over to the office with me. But I can't understand how anyone knew you had Uncle Ben's message. Well, apparently somebody did, or this wouldn't have happened. Do you know who they were? No, but I got a good look at them, and I think I know who they're working for. They're in the office. I let them in the back way.
We did as you told us to, boss, but we didn't get the message. Well, I saw what was supposed to be it, and I don't like the looks of things. So we'll just have to work on what I overheard at the Pendleton place. Anyone of you ever hear of an hombre called Eagle? No, why? He knows where Ben's mine's located. Now, you and the boys get busy and try to find him. And keep out of sight. $10. You like his look, Trudy? Yes, I do. Well, I want Miss Pendleton to try him out and see how he handles it. She likes him, Mr. Deal. It's all right with me. Lucky you and Trudy go out to ride and see how he works out. All right. Say, uh, what kind of looking fellow was it brought my horse in here? Oh, he's about my size. Sort of. Uh... See that fella? Is that him? No, that ain't him. Oh, that ain't him, huh? No. But that's a friend of his. I've seen them together quite often. Thanks. All right. Did you find out anything? No, and neither of the boys. I'm beginning to think we'll never find that eagle. Seen him? Yeah, here just a minute ago. Figured on buying a horse from me. Yeah? <laughs> Have I got news for him? News? Sure, I gotta tell him about the nuggets I just found. Nuggets? Sure, dozens of them. Yellow and round, some big, some small. Uh, mostly big. You ought to see it. Finest ever saw. Where'd you find them? In the old mine, back at the Pendleton place. Pendleton place? Sure. Of course, are they beautiful. I says to myself, I'll just go out and see what might be there. Well, sir, I crawled inside. I said, uh, I thought he was gone. Had it. Hey, where you going? The stuck wolf's back at the penalty place. No? Hey, fellas, they're going down to the penalty place. Say, they just made a new strike out east of here. They did? Yeah. Somebody just let go. Now stay right where you are. I'll be right back. All right, Doc. Just follow the old penalty place. Nuggets the size of hen's eggs. Come on. Right away. Somebody's made a strike. I'm going to stake a claim. I wonder if it could be the Eldorado.
on your property, isn't it, Trudy? I think so, Hoppy, but I'm not sure. Yours and nuggets ought to be around here somewhere. Friend of mine? Yeah. You mean California? Mm -hmm. I found gold. I said I found some... some nuggets. she thinks you're a good friend, I don't believe she'll tell you if and when they do locate the mine. No, maybe not. You remember that note Ben left? That's right, Judd. Things might be different if those three cowpokes weren't around. I... What are you up to? I know how to take care of those three. Every time we go hunting for that mine, I get a lock of new blisters. <laughs> I sure wish that eagle fella'd show up. Yeah, me too. You know, I'm beginning to think that, that eagle isn't a man. Ben must have had something else in his mind. For instance, what? Well, landmark, for instance. Or something. Eagle might have been his pet name for it. Sure, that's what I think too, Hoppy. Maybe. <clears throat> hey. Wait a minute. What's that look like up there to you? Where? Looks like a bullfrog or something. What's the matter with your eyes? Can't you see it's got a head on it? And it's got wings. Hoppy, do you suppose? That's the eagle, all right. Come on.
Hoppy, I think Cousin Ben was off his hinges. There ain't a trace of a mine up here. Yeah, but you can bet your bottom dollar this eagle's got something to do with that mine. Yeah, you're right about that, Lucky. It's the key, all right, but we just don't know how to work it. Trudy's sure gonna feel low when she finds out we haven't found anything. Oh, no, she isn't. She don't have to know anything about it yet. All right, now we got up here, let's try and get down. Let's go this way. Who's here again? Well, what about it? Well... <laughs> well, you haven't got a brand on her yet, Lucky. Come on. Thanks again for bringing that lovely basket of fruit. You're entirely welcome. Oh, uh, by the way, Miss Pendleton, do you mind if I ask you a question? Why, no. Well, it just occurred to me. Are you sure California's a relative of yours? I've no reason to doubt it. Why do you ask? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering. Any luck? Not yet, Trudy. Ah, let's don't worry about that now. What have you got for three hungry men to eat? Liver and onions, corn, mashed potatoes, and hot biscuits. My, my, am I going to surprise my stomach. <laughs> What's the matter, Lucky? Aren't you feeling well? Yeah, I feel all right, but what do you let that ace keep hanging around you for? Why, Lucky, I really believe you're jealous. You know, it's... Well, he's a tin-horned gambler, and I That's don't... That's enough. I won't listen to any such talk. He's been kind and considerate. He may be a gambler, but at least he's a gentleman. What's more, I won't have you trying to pick my friends. And Flying Cloud told me that Carter's also been asking his tribesmen if they knew anyone called Eagle. Carter? You say he works for Ace? But how did Ace know about the Eagle? Oh, probably Trudy told him. I don't think so, Lucky. You remember Ace was at the cabin the day I found that message? Yeah. Well, doesn't it seem possible that he could have come back and overheard what we said? By golly, Hoppy, I believe you're right. I saw footprints in my garden. Yeah? Yeah. He's a bad egg, Hoppy. He probably planned the whole thing. Thanks, Sheriff. We'll keep an eye on the gentleman. Do you remember my asking you whether you were sure California was a relative? Yes. Well, I wasn't. And because of my concern for you, I decided to do a little investigating. Well, what did you find out? Read this. I received it this morning from a friend of mine. And from your description of the three men, they are without doubt the same crooks who recently cheated several women here of their savings. Why, I can hardly believe that. And yet, that must be why Lucky didn't want you coming here. But well, of course that's why. They were afraid I'd get on to their little game. I'll take care of them. You and I are going to see the sheriff. No, I wouldn't do that just yet. We've got to have concrete proof of what they are, and... It... California! Yes, Rudy? You claim to be a cousin of Uncle Ben's. Can you prove it? Well, uh, well, no. Guess I can't with Ben gone. I never was a hand to keeping papers. That'll I... do. I'm giving you and your friends just ten minutes to get off my property. Why, true. I'd like to what? use one of those minutes for a word with Mr. Gibson. Ace is a strange thing about the three of us. What do you mean? It's funny, but every time anybody tries to double-cross us or 
anyone we like. Something usually happens to them. I don't understand you, Mr. Cassidy. You will. Maybe you'll understand this. That's the beginning of what I meant. Why, you... Get out! Get out of here! All of you! Come on, we got some packing to do. I don't think we ought to leave Trudy back there alone, Hoppy. Well, what gave you the idea we're going to? I want to take another look at that eagle up there. That sundown. Well, we thought of landmarks, and Indians, the eagle pointing, sun. And we've also been pretty stupid. Yep, we sure have. Me too. We'll find out. What does sundown usually bring? Supper. You too. I give up. What does sundown bring? Shadows. Look. See how the shadow falls over that woodshed? We've been in it, around it, and all over it. But we haven't been under it. Come on. hidden, didn't he? Get a look at this. Look at that. Hoppy, this horse chuck full of gold. Sure. What do you think that'll run at time? Oh, it's hard to tell. Reach! Come on, get up out of there. Get their guns. So you knew where the mine was all the time. Keep your eyes on them until you hear from me. Come on, Trudy, we're going in town and see the sheriff. Go get the sheriff, Trudy. Just make yourself at home. The 
the sheriff wasn't there, but I left word with one of his deputies for him to come over as soon as he gets back. Fine. Won't you sit down, Miss Trudy? Thank you. You know, I hate to think what might have happened if it hadn't been for you. <laughs> it was nothing. It was only right that as Ben's best friend, I should look out for your interest. You're very kind. Hey, what are you up to? Nothing. Come on, what do you got in your hand? Nothing, I'm just playing a little game. Game? Sure. Guess what? What do you mean, guess what? No. Not what do you mean, guess what? Guess what's in what hand? Why, you all... <laughs> Hand me my gun. He's got him on. Well, how you like that? Set him up there. You take care of them. I'm going to town. Come on, get out. Get on your horse. Get going. You realize, of course, that operating a mine is no easy task, especially for a girl. Yes, I do, and, well, I sort of counted on you and Sheriff Blake to see me through. And I'm sure you'll find us both ready and willing. However, it takes a lot of money to develop a mine. And any mine is a gamble until it's absolutely proven. Now, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll buy a half interest in the mine. Or, better still, buy you out altogether for $5,000. $5,000? Please don't think me ungrateful, Mr. Gibson, but from what California said about the ore, I was led to believe the mine was very valuable. Well, it may be, but you can buy a lot of pretty things for $5,000. Well, thanks for your offer, but I'd rather discuss the matter with the sheriff before I decide what to do. Asking Blake's advice shouldn't be necessary. You trust me, don't you? Why, of course, but... I'm beginning to think you don't want me to discuss the matter with the sheriff. Certainly I don't, you little fool. You think I want to spoil the best game I ever set in on? I'm taking over that mine, even if the... Wait a minute. You're not going anywhere. Unless you sign the property over to me, something unpleasant is likely to happen to Hoppy and his friends. All right, you win. Hoppy! I'm not carrying a gun, Cassidy. Side. To take him and the other two and turn them over to the sheriff. It'll be a pleasure, Hoppy. Come on, get out of there. Get going! 
the matter with you? Oh, I've been such a stupid fool. Hey. I don't think you have true. Thanks, Hoppy. <laughs> You know, Hoppy, when you asked half a million for the mine, I thought that corporation lawyer would fall over. <laughs> yeah, now that I see a check for half a million dollars, I'm about to fall over. <laughs> Hoppy! Hoppy! Look, look. Telegram from Buck from the Bar 20. I just won first prize at the county fair with my petunias. <laughs> <laughs> And here's a check for you and Trudy. Yeah, well, I've got to get back and get my blue ribbon. Huh. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> you know, half of that belongs to Trudy. Yeah, yeah so it does. Well, See, bar 20. Wait enough. Hey, Kel. <laughs> oh, don't worry about that thing. We'll catch him in town and have it stuck back together. <laughs> <laughs> 